Viola Bowley Sheridan. It's a mouthful, so we all knew her as just Mammy. Not just family, but the entire town of Drew. She was the quintessential southern grandmother. You know, the one with that four-foot wooden fork and spoon hanging in the kitchen. I don't give her near enough credit, but she has so much to do with my love of food. In this little country home, I learned what good southern cooking really is. You see, every now and then I can walk in a gas station and a smell or some frilly curtains over a sink become a time machine to 1985. And once again, I'm a kid in Mammy's Kitchen. Today, I'm in Eggville at Hardin's Grocery. The motto here is, we hope you like our cooking. The place definitely is country. Then I see the frilly curtains over the sink. And all at once, I'm in someone's home. I'm 10 again, and it feels good. I needed this. Hey guys, Stafford Sheridan Gas Station Tailgate Review. I'm in Eggville, Mississippi at Hardin's Country Store. And this is really the cutest little country store ever. They got the little country curtains and all the cool stuff in there. And they've got a huge menu. I took a picture of the chalkboard. You should have already seen it. They've even got uh, their own hens over there laying eggs. And I guess one of them's named Henry, so maybe they're not both hens. I don't know. But apparently they got their own eggs here. And we're in, of course, Eggville. So you should have your own eggs if you're in Eggville, Mississippi. And, I, you know, I'd heard of Eggville. There's the towers right there on the other side of me. And I don't know if there's more to Eggville than this, but it seems like I am way, way out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know, like, how far away, but it seems like I've been making turns and turns and turns. This place is not hard to get to because you know, we've got Google Maps now, and Google brought me straight here. But um, it's just the sweetest little place. Let's check out this burger, though. And I got the double. Ooh, this thing looks so good. I got a double cheeseburger. And I got what I always get on mine, which is pickles, onions, and mustard. And uh, I probably should have gotten a single. This thing is really big. So just to give you an idea. That is a big cheeseburger. All I know to do is dive into this thing. Let's let's show you. Oop. All right. Mm. Take a bite of this thing. Now that is how you do a burger. Just so big, way too big a burger for me. That's a jam up good burger. The people were so nice in there that I can't figure out if they're always that nice, which I think they are, or if they recognize me and they want a good gore. <laughs> you know, that's why I try to go in on the down low where people don't know where I am. But I got the feeling that they're just always that nice. I mean, they were super nice. I know it wasn't me because the table got up before me. They were like, y'all have a nice day and all this stuff. I was just like, you just feel like you're in your grandma's house. I mean, really, that's what it feels like. I start losing track of all the great burgers I've had in Mississippi at gas stations. So it starts running together. So I'm like, which one's the better one? Which one, you know, right now for me, this is gonna be right up there in the top two or three, I think.
I'm thinking, man, that is so good. I love a good hamburger. I'm about ready for some good fried chicken though. You guys need to point me in the right direction. Eight five. It's that good. I think it's in the top three of all the burgers I've had in the state of Mississippi. I can't quite give it over the eight five. Can't put my finger on why. But that's number one is huge. It's done right. They griddle this thing. They know how to dress a burger too. They dress it perfectly. Dressing's on the bottom, not on the top. Rookie mistake. Don't put your dressings, your stuff on the bottom. I mean on the top, because it'll come off when you bite into it. It's really good. I'm gonna take one more bite and then I'm gonna go. Hardin's Country Store, Eggmore, Mississippi. This is where it's at. Come get the burger. Tell them Stafford sent you. Love you guys to live a life with passion. There's nothing in the world that I like better than bacon and lettuce and homegrown tomatoes. Up in the morning, out in the garden. Pick you a ripe one. Don't get a hardened whip. We'll plant them in the spring, eat them in the summer. All winter without them is a culinary bummer. Forget about all the sweating and digging. Every time I go out, pick me a big one. Homegrown tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes.